So in this video, we're going to talk about uh, why you would uh, invest with stake versus, say, traditional real estate investing, uh, which is a question I think a lot of our customers are going to be asking. Yep. So we're joined today uh, uh, with uh, Rami, um, who's one of the co-founders of Stake. Uh, he's one of the most uh, seasoned and well-known uh, property experts uh, in Dubai. Um, so it's a really simple question. I've got, I've got a certain amount of money. Why should I put it with you and not with a developer or a broker? Well, you know, I think uh, one of the main reasons why you would go with stake is the ability to diversify at much lower risk. Um, you know, at the end of the day, if you had a million dirhams yep. uh, and you were going to go out and buy a property, you'd probably buy one. If you're buying something ready, you'd have to either pay all cash or get a mortgage, which then, you know, you go to bed knowing that you owe someone money at the, you know, at the end of every month. Uh, or you go to a developer and you're buying something that's off plan uh, and you're having to wait three to four years to, to get property, to, to get your property. So. You know, for us with stake is we diversify. First of all, we lower the amount that you can come in. So you don't have to come in and worry that you have to put your life savings into this. Uh, we allow you to come in for as low as 2,000 dirhams. So that automatically gives you that sense of, mm. okay, you know, let me test it before I commit to a big property uh, or a big amount. Um, and then what you end up doing is you start being able to put a little bit of amount. So if you have a million dirhams, instead of putting it into one property, you take that million, divide it across five mm. or 10 properties that we have. Uh, that way you're diversifying your risk. You're lowering the risk of vacancy. So let's say if that, that one million dirhams you put into one property and the tenant walks out, yeah. you're left with no income. Uh, while with us, if you take that million dirhams and split it across 10 properties, if one tenant leaves, you know, you have nine others that are rented. Um, so that, you know, reduces the risk massively. But also, you know, with our platform, you're getting a lot more transparency than you do get when you're buying something out in the market. You know, we give you the full data on the transactions. We give you full occupancy data. Uh, you know, you're able to see what your uh, apartment's rented for, what your returns are. Uh, and I think that's something that is, isn't readily available, as, as we spoke about before. So, you know, I think uh, we, uh, by investing in stake, you're getting a lot more transparency and ease of use than you would uh, when you do it on your own. Uh, but also, you know, the beauty of it is then you're doing it all digitally. Yeah. Um, you're not having to worry about any headaches in terms of management and going through a management or asset management company. Uh, you're not having to deal with, you know, viewings and six brokers and, you know, the, the, the headaches of, of buying an actual property. You know, we simplify the entire process for you and, you know, we pride ourselves by saying that you can actually invest with us on stake, mm -hmm. buy real estate in less than three minutes. And, and, and it's a real headache just trying to find what a good deal is and what a good deal 100%, is not. 100%. We, we do that for you. Well, you know, because every broker is going to tell you something different. Yeah. Um, you know, a, a broker that is uh, being paid a high commission by a developer is obviously going to tell you this property is the yeah. best. Uh, with us, you know, we, it's, it's full transparency. We will tell you this is the best ready deal in the market yeah. uh, that we found. Uh, and, you know, these are the returns. This is what the tenant's paying. Uh, this is what the service charge, and it's all laid out on our platform. Uh, and you're able to, you know, instead of committing that high capital and worth, you know, taking that risk of potentially losing that money uh, mm -hmm. from, you know, the developer not delivering on time or, you know, the tenants not, as I mentioned earlier, you know, not paying the rent on time, whatever it is, you put it on our platform uh, and it's very easy and you start making money immediately and you're able to see that money come into your wallet. Look, we, 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 we're, we're a company that doesn't shy away from difficult questions. So some yep. of the questions that I know people have asked in the past about crowdfund, crowdfunded, which we, it's a, it's a word for us, we don't really want to focus on because the mechanism through which it's, it, the, the, the money is raised for us is not as important as bringing you great deals in a way that you can invest in fractionally. Uh, but some of, the, some of the, the, the questions that come up is, what if I want to uh, sell my, my, my stake at some point uh, if I own the whole property, I can do it quickly. Uh, what uh, would you say? Not to quickly. Not quickly. Yeah. But yeah. But, but you can. You, you can. You can never sell, you can never sell a property quickly. But but if you do, you know that that is a question that people people say. Well, you know, okay. So I have this this stake or share in a property. But what if I want to liquefy that? What would you say? So you know. Uh, Again, first of all, as, as we always say, real estate is a longer term investment. Yeah. So if you're looking to buy something on stake and sell it within the first six months, then our, you, know, the, the, you shouldn't be investing in stake. Yeah. You should be investing in stake if you do have a longer uh, you know, view on, on, in terms of investing. Now, you know, in, in our first year, we don't have a secondary market. 
uh, what we're actually looking at and part of our roadmap is do creating a second year market towards our second years of operation. Mm. So in our first year, if, you, if you're buying something, then you're with it for the, for the first year. Now we're asking our investors to hold on between three to five years, which is where we feel the opportunity is because today you're buying at the lows of the market. And when you buy at the lows of the market, the most time you're ever gonna make money is when you wait through the cycle to pick up again. Yeah. And usually cycles in Dubai are between four to five years. So if you're looking at p selling and making the most money, then you have to hold on till the cycle comes back again. Uh, and the prices pick up. Uh, but to answer your question, you know, we will create a secondary market uh, in, in our, in towards our second year of operation where you will be able to sell your shares just to, to, uh, to someone and based on what the market yeah. price is. Um, and you know, we, as part of our, our platform is we will uh, give you valuation reports, third party, independent party valuation reports, so you're able to see what, that price, what your share costs, yeah. you know, what your stake costs. Uh, 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 and the value of that stake, so you know, uh, you'll be able to then get a fair price uh, based on the second year market that we create in the second year. Yeah. And, and when, the, when it comes to uh, the management of, of a property, that, that's another headache that y you don't have, right? So when you buy a property, and I've been a landlord, so have you, it, it can be, it takes up a lot of your time. Like, of course. You know, someone calls you up and says, my oven is broken or the, the, the roof is leaking. Um, I, I, I want you to drop my rent. You don't have any of that hassle when you, no. when you use stake, right? So, so when you use stake, the only people you're dealing with is, uh, you know, you're dealing with the platform, which is stake. Um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, uh, we outsource the, the management to... Uh, which we have to. We have Quite to buy. So by regulation, yeah, we were regulated by the DFSA, uh, Dubai Financial Services Authority, and, you know, they mandate us that we are not allowed to, to manage these assets for conflict of interest. They, they want a third party to do that, which yeah. is, you know, great. We, we identify the best asset managers in town. Uh, who will take over the property and ensure that your property is always rented and in, in good shape. Um, and that's all fed back onto the platform and you're able to see if there was any maintenance charges, what they were and how it was broken down. So that's part of our, you know, our commitment to being fully transparent as a platform. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so you don't have the headache. You, you, you invest and, and you're only dealing with, with a platform uh, on your phone or your, your computer. So w when, you, uh, when you own uh, property and you decide to sell it, then you t typically would go to an estate agent or broker and, and, and sell your property. How does it work with stake? How, uh, at some point, how, how do you sell? How, what, what does that look like? So usually what we, what our holding period right now is we tell our investors that we, when we acquire an asset, we're going to hold on to it for five years. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we'll exit it after five years. Um, so when we do exit it, that means all the shareholders will get their share of whatever the price is at the time, but the appreciation price and it goes back into their wallet. Now, what we're also looking at is when we're buying the property at today's price, we're saying to ourselves, okay, listen, we genuinely think that over the next three to five years, we can see a 30% total ROI uh, to our investors between rental mm. yields and capital appreciation. So it's the combination of both. Both, exactly. The combination of both. We expect that we can you know, realistically hit those numbers over three to, to, between a three to five year period. So what we're saying is if we do hit 30%, yeah then let's sell the property. Yeah. Let's not wait, let's just sell the property and then make, make, make the returns mm. for the investors. Uh, and I think that gives investors a lot of comfort. So if I told you today, Chris, you know, would you invest in something where you're gonna get 30% and you realize that 30% in three to five years, would you say yes to that? Yeah, of course. Well, there you go. So at the end of the day, what, what we're building into our platform right now is as soon as we see 30% being achieved, then we'll just exit the property and give the return straight to the investors, allowing them to invest more in other opportunities. And they don't have to, they're not, they don't have the hassle of having to actually sell a property. Oh, they're, they're, it's all, it's all us. You. Yeah, yeah. So we do everything. We do the full exit. They don't have to go through a broker. You know, as I said, you're dealing with one platform, which is stake. That's it. We will take care of everything for you. And as a, everything will be communicated straight to your account. You'll be able to see everything. We, yeah. we, you know, we, we pride ourselves on being very transparent and ensuring that we have a, a massive communication with all our investors so that they're always up to date with, with everything. Rami, that was great. Thank you so much. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it.